ran out of storage. See the things you learn when you do this the first time? Okay, so I had showed you the Flicka. Now, I got some metallic. This is a Hobby Lobby um, staple. It's their Super Saver. I love this yarn. Number four, 252 yards, and it is 142 grams. I got, yeah, big surprise, Peacock. Always get two. I hope I'm not hitting that camera, guys. I'm sorry if I am. Okay, and this is the Yarn Be Dazzling. They're the same. Just to put up and wrap just a little bit different. Sand Dollar. 256 yards. 100 grams. Okay, these are, to me, similar to the Scarfy. This one's called Sweater Weather. It's the Fireplace Comfort. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. This is called Sweater Weather. Okay, they're a little pricier. These are $8.99. And no, I did not have a coupon. It's the Yarn Bee Fireplace Comfort. 229 yards, because it's really, it's a five. It says four. I think a lot of these are a five, because it's kind of a tubular shape on it. Might be like the landscapes, you know? Then I got Waiting Weather because it's blues. Blue, gray, black. These are 70% acrylic and 30% wool. That's why they're a little bit more. Again, the fireplace comfort. And the last one of those, Skating Pond. I guess because it kind of has a little bit of a green, oh, mint. Very pretty. Also, I did not mention this, but at Mangelson's, they had some remnants. This is tulle. I buy this because I make scrubbies out of it. I'll do a tutorial on that, but you cut into strips and you wind it into a ball. You tie the strips together, wind it into a ball, and then you crochet it into a round disc to make a scrubby. There's 35 inches here, 32 cents. I don't have any yellow. And also at Mangelson's, I forgot to mention that I got these. Now, I don't know how this is gonna show up. These are not essential oils. These are fragrance oils. So these will be used for soaps. Um, things like that. I've got pumpkin spice, sticky buns, chai tea, and gardenia. They smell heavenly. Every one of them. 
and I don't remember what I gave for these, but I believe they were on sale. And I want to say they were $2.99. And these are half ounce, 15 mil. So when I looked online at fragrances, they were a lot more than that. And that's all of the ones they had. So I guess they had them out for um, the fall. So those are fall smells. Okay. I got two Leisure Art crochet books. Now I do both. I crochet, I knit, I cross stitch, I do a little sewing, little sewing, but I try to do more sewing. But these were cool. So I got Terrific Totes for $1.29. There's some more in the back. was 324 marked down and then it went to 129. These are well done. I particularly like this one. I don't know what that stitch is. Y'all may know. How cool is that? And I like the way they did the handles. And then I got this one. Everything in here evidently has fringe on it. Fringe benefits. There's a poncho on the back. But I think if I use the right yarn for these, I could wear this here. The right yarn. And a short sleeve tee. Maybe. If I needed it. That was Hobby Lobby. Now for the third place. So, this place is on Cass Street. It's called personal threads and it's what we would consider a local yarn store and it's right where my husband would have ridden his bike up and down the road he says, he says he's pretty sure he did something bad on that street when he was a kid and it's in a building it's all together they own the whole thing with an art studio below it you ride the elevator up to the yarn store. Great store. Really like the guy. And I've been wanting to get some Noro. This one is. And Noro is made in Japan. Noro, the world of nature. I, it, it's natural fibers. Okay. This is 100 grams, 270 meters. It's 100% wool. The color is 1038. That may be a color, but I, I don't think so. Anyway, it's from the Personal Threads Boutique. And my husband actually helped me pick this one out, too. Now this is pro this is probably going to be a bulky um, or a heavy four. I call it a heavy four. Very pretty. This is also a Noro. This was in his sale bin. So these were these were seventeen ninety five, and these were fourteen ninety seven. So these were on sale. Not normally something I would pick because of all the greens, but they're just so happy. They're happy, and to me that's fall also. I don't know. I just really liked them. This is the Noro Odon. 06 brown. Brown, red, yellow. Brown, red, yellow. Now these are a little different. <laughs> They're less than those. Those were 100% wool. But listen to this one. This one is 40% silk, 25% wool, 25% angora, and 10% kid mohair. And you can see the fuzzy. I can't wait to see what happens when I make it and wash it because well, for silk, 
might be softer. I don't know. It's It's got some pieces in there too, see. It's gonna be interesting. I like interesting. Okay, I don't have this over here, but I got one of these. A needle keeper. It's a metal and right there you can see it holds your knitting needles so you don't drop stitches been wanting one my husband saw it and said you better get that because you need it <laughs> okay now i'm going to hold these with something else and i already have a color that will go with these these are mohair these are classic elite 50 gram 106 yards or 98 meters made in South Africa distributed in Massachusetts okay I don't know if there's a color on this it's gonna be a color number I think but this is it's weird 78.4 percent mohair 17.3 percent wool and 4.3% nylon. A number nine knitting needle. That's too big for me. But anyway, I'm gonna hold it together with something else. There's a lot of great patterns out right now using mohair. So, I just wish it had a color, teal blue. an aqua tint. Oh, here. Okay, and he was having a trunk show for Koi Goo. Koi Goo is, I keep getting right up in there, Koi Goo Quaker wool designs. This is the KPP PM. P838. It's 100% merino, 175 yards and 50 grams. Recommends a three millimeter knitting needle. This is the painter's palette. I'm sorry, I am not seeing. We're going to go with this right here. Die lot. So there's this one. Here's this one for the dye lot. There's five of them. There's a dye lot on that one. And the dye lot on that one. And that one. This one is a creamy with with sprinkles. Like cake sprinkles. But it's a cream. It's not a white. And then this one has a green. Yeah. This one's more of a gray, gray to blue, lavendery kind of. This one has the purple. And browns in there and then I asked my husband I said I, I need a I need a pop of color I need it to I need something to contrast and he picked this one and it's got pink green it's got all of them in it but subtle and you see how fun four and five 
So you need five of these for some of the um, patterns for, for Koidu. I also got from a Whimsical Wood Yarn Co. Pixie Toe Socks, 463 yards, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. This is from Idaho. And it's luscious hand dyed fibers with a snarky twist. This one is called Crazy Ass. It is bright. That's some of the brightest I've bought yet. Yeah, Lance picked it out. I like it. It's been green. It's sock yarn. It's great. I don't know where in Idaho was the only local-ish type yarn that he had. So I'm going to try to keep this PG. But she says, because life's too short to knit with blank yarn. And her, her website is a whimsicalwoodyarnco.com. Okay, that's all the yarn. And I got a couple books too. personal thread. So I got the new Interweave Knits and this one is the Interweave Knits Gifts. Cool. Lots of great stuff. This one is Traditions. I'm not sure what I think of this one. I've gotten one of these before. This is the 2018 edition. It doesn't, yeah, it's a fall. It's got um, 17 knits for the new woman, knitting for the right to vote, and the adventures of the first Girl Scouts. So there's some very interesting history about knitting in these books. So if you are interested, I would check that out. The patterns correlate, and you're going to know some of these designers. There's some pretty things, but there's a lot of reading in it. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> a couple of really retro kind of things, but fun. But there's a couple of things in here that I would make for myself, too. Okay, so this one is the Koiku book, Wrapped in Color, 30 Shawls to Knit, of course, with Koiku. So that's that five-piece set that I was showing you. A lot of them require that. So five, 30 gram, I believe. Did I say that? If I did, and I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. 100% merino, 50 gram. These are 50 gram. And it requires, a lot of these require five of those. Pretty. So here's an overview. That's why I got it. And there's everything from lacy to, like this is one with arms. Very cool.
pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. This one I had to have because it's just such a neat book. And I'd never heard of it. I may have heard somebody talk about this on a podcast. It, it, it sounds vaguely familiar. Or maybe I just read it on the Interweave website because it's an Interweave. You know, a lot of local yarn stores will pair up with different publications. And this is called Knitter Stash. It's favorite patterns from America's yarn shops. It's edited by Barbara Albright with a foreword by Melanie Fallick. Okay. Great cardigan. And with each pattern comes a little story on the store because this is basically the yarn stores putting forward the pattern that they felt the most popular in their store over the years something that they would say was a staple so that's that's just cool very cool and each one has a little bit about the stores not all these stores are open anymore um, there's one in Arlington Texas that's not there anymore too bad anyway I've been going through it I'm not very far very very neat book okay some of the crochet books that I've gotten recently what I got another I got another knit book Okay, this is the winter, no, 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 not that one. That's the one I was looking at a pattern in. I got this one over the summer, Crochet World. I don't do a lot of flowers. But I really loved these retro. pot holders and washcloths. There's some, some neat stuff in here. There's some baskets. This one is from doesn't say there October. Probably a new one coming out now, but this is October issue of Crochet World. It looks like stained glass. And this one up here in the corner, let's see if we can find that. I want to know how to do this one. Very cool. And then this is the interweave crochet. And if you would like to see some things that are a little bit more upscale crochet, I would try to find this one. It's got some really, really pretty stuff. It's got some garments in here. I would not know the difference between this one as a knit or crochet. That's great. I want to know how to do cables and crochet. Very cool. Anyway, this one's a very pretty book, too. What am I working on? Does anybody want to know what I'm working on? You want to keep this a yarn haul? How about we just keep it a yarn haul? It's my first video. We'll get it up, see how it goes. Again, you can find me on Facebook as The Essential Blossom. You can find me on Instagram as Life with underscore Blossom. My YouTube handle is on here, of course, is Life with Blossom. My Etsy store is The Essential Blossom. I'm still working on that. Always working on that. I put some of my projects I've completed. I've got yarn for sales, some de-stash yarn. I've got stuff because I'm a hairdresser and I have a beauty shop. I have some de-stash from my beauty shop there. But if you want, go check it out. I'm going to have some more information on this channel about my essential oils that I sell. 
and those will be going in that shop too. All the information I'll put down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.